I'm Dave Mosher at Discovery Channel. 38 spacecraft have been sent to Mars, but more than half have failed. I'm here to find out what scientists still have left to learn about the red planet. So I'm going to ask you uh, three questions about Mars. Um, the first is, what, make, what is so different about Mars? What is so interesting about it? Why are we compelled to go there? I think what's interesting about Mars to people, I think in general, is that it's both different and similar to Earth. If it were completely different, a completely alien world, it would be harder to be interested in it. But Mars is a place where uh, we've got a planet, we've got water, we've got energy from the sun. Um, there's a lot of interest in Mars from the point of view of climate change, from the point of view of habitability, um, and we can't rule out that we may someday find life or traces of ancient life on Mars. Do you ever think Mars will be a place that people can live, uh, that, that can be transformed into something that's Earth-like? I think um, if people ever live for extended periods on Mars, it's because they transform their local environment, uh, the same way that we could on a place like the Moon, although perhaps it would be easier on Mars. Uh, certainly there are a lot of people who dream of broader scale transformations on Mars, terraforming of Mars. I have difficulty imagining that. That would be very difficult. I'm not sure that you could find enough water on Mars to do something like that. But I also you know, keep in the back of my head that there are a lot of things that we do today that if you asked people about 100 years ago, they would have said, oh, no, there's no way that's ever going to happen. Stephen Hawking recently made a, a statement about life out in the universe and how we may never ever make contact as, as, a, as a race. What do you think about that, that sort of uh, universe alone? I really don't know what sort of universe we're in from that perspective. I sometimes think of it in different ways. It is a huge universe. There is a lot in it. We don't know what most of that is. But in looking around, we don't know right now whether there's life on the planet next door or has ever been life on the planet next door or whether there's no life besides that which is on our planet within this galaxy. It still looks like a lonely universe, but you never know. <laughs>